Reef DVMs. Today we're talking about the Super Reef Octopus XP2000 EXT or external um, recirculating skimmer. The XP2000 EXT cone skimmer, high performance cone design, is what I decided to go with um, for our new Dream Tank build. I'm not saying this will be the only skimmer we'll ever have, but it's certainly a nice one for what I wanted. I was looking for a skimmer that could go internal, which this one can. I was looking for a skimmer that recirculated so it didn't have to worry about the water level inside the sump. One of the reasons being is we're 14 feet below the main tank and when you shut off the pump system to work in the skimmer or on the main tank, there's 14 feet of piping, one and a half inch pipe that can drain some water down into the sump and change the level. If the sump, if the sump has the skimmer in it, it continues to run. As you guys know, changing the water level with most traditional skimmers makes them either wet skim or go bonkers. So in this case here, we're assembling uh, the Reef Octopus. Like I said, it's an 8 inch external cone skimmer. Um, it has a dimension of about 15 and a half by 12 and a half inches, and it's about 2 feet tall. Um, it's manufactured to work with tanks up to about 200 gallons, which is perfect for what I'm looking at. Um, a whole system probably going to be in that 250 mark if you look at all the water and, and usage but for the display tank it'll be about right I could have gone with that 300 plus one one step above this but I decided not to I'm just kind of show you here basically the assembly of it because um, at this point we're obviously not up and running it so I can't give you a perfect review of it but the assembly went pretty smooth as you can see there's some things I really liked about this First of all, it does have the bubble blaster pump. Uh, it's the HY2000S. One thing about the bubble blaster that's nice is a, it's a pump designed just for protein skimming. It isn't, you know, uh, a high-end model, you know, like some of the competition can have over in Germany. But yet at the same point in time, those pumps were just designed to pump water and not necessarily make uh, bubbles for a protein skimmer. And this one was. So I'm very happy with the bubble blaster. The high quality acrylic is welded nice. The construction is good. Again, it's not Germany style stuff, but still very, very good. I like the fact that it has plenty of, if you want to call it this, unions in this assembly. Um, it has a one page direction, as you can see here, that I'm studying over. Um, and putting it together went fairly smoothly by following the directions. I had a couple O-ring questions right away at the beginning that I had to just make sure were incorrectly. I didn't really want to screw those up, so I did have to make sure the O-rings were right. Once I got that, the assembly went pretty good. It's definitely a high-performance um, design on this one. Reef Octopus makes some cheaper models if you need something a little bit more affordable, because obviously a model like this, you're going to be paying over $500. For people that can't afford that, I totally understand. But when you get into these bigger tanks and you want to keep you know, a higher fish load or you want to be able to you know, feed to your heart's desire, having one of these that can really handle the load is what you need. This one, again, is a recirculating design. So basically the bubble blaster is just going to recirculate the water within it. So you do have to feed this skimmer. I'm going to be feeding it, obviously, off my main Owaki. And, uh, you know, I'll have it set for about 400 gallons per hour, which is what it needs. The um, bubble blaster pump, though, is nice. It does come with a three-year warranty uh, that Reef Octopus will help you with. And the skimmer itself comes with a one-year. Now, granted, they have a lifetime warranty on support. That may not mean much to some people, but it is kind of nice. You can always call them up and they'll help you. and They won't charge you to, to get um, at least info on how to fix something or how to work with it. As far as the parts, they were all labeled A through about F. So it was just a matter of figuring out which tube they wanted where in the picture. I didn't have too much trouble with it. It just took me a few minutes to kind of get it all straight and figured out. Um, I'm planning on this, like I said, whole system being uh, submerged in the uh, tank. Uh, but like I said, you could plumb this whole thing to be external. I also like the fact that whether internal or external, like I said, it's not dependent upon water level. One of the things I think that makes a skimmer function really well is getting the water level just at that perfect point. 
And I think that's what's always hard when you get systems that their water level in their sump due to their automatic top off, due to evaporation changes. And in this case, uh, we don't really have that as an issue. And I think that's the biggest advantage about recirculating skimmers. They can pretty much run constant and not give you too much headache. Obviously, the reason I want to put it in the sump, though, is for the safety factor of overflow, spillage, and so forth. I've had enough hang-on-the-back skimmers in my life. And uh, when they get a little out of whack and they flood over, unless you've got them, you know, plumbed to an external bucket somewhere to take the wet skim, you're probably going to have a mess on the floor. And I don't think that's really cool. Oh, and another thing that I like about the Reef Octopus, it actually comes with a really nice gate valve. Uh, those things are really nice when it comes to trying to adjust them and get them to the proper height. Some come with a cheesy valve, some come with pipes that you slide up and down and move. I've really never been a fan of those. I've worked with them on some people's tanks and systems. They work, don't get me wrong. You can get them to work, but they're just not quite as nice. I don't know if you noticed here, but at this point, I can tell you that the um, external on this system is about a foot long, one inch piece of Schedule 80 PVC. Uh, that will have to get trimmed down the road, but for the sake of the, this assembly right now, I'm not going to worry about it. And I actually probably will glue a few of these fittings, not all the fittings, but I'll glue a few of them. Some of them I'll probably never ever have to take apart, so with that being the case, I'll, I'll glue a couple of those, like the elbow on the end and stuff. One thing nice about the pump is it's all f um, fully designed with uh, uh, the uh, screw-off unions. So those coupler unions make it great, so you can get easy access to the uh, to the bubble blaster pump with this particular model. I'm really hoping to get my use out of this skimmer. Um, I'm hoping it breaks in well and really does the job that I'd intended it to do. I'm almost got the uh, setup here complete. Just a little bit of tweaking here, getting that cover to sit down in there nice. I'm actually going to hook up the external overflow hose on it and have it pump into one of these... Uh, plastic containers down underneath. That way I can just change that and I don't have to do quite so much work. Removing the whole frame of the top of the skimmer, I can just go in there with my hands and wipe it clean um, about every other day or so, depending upon how dirty it actually gets. So this is pretty much the assembly of it here, folks. Uh, it's, like I said, a good product. It's made by a good company and I'm very pleased with it. I'm going to take a reinforced one-inch nylon hose and I'm going to use that for the feeder. I'm not going to completely set that up right now because I don't know how it's exactly going to fit in. But that's as good as I'm going to get. I'll take the camera here and zoom in on it. Again, you can see down at the bottom there, it's got um, a little set screw in the center where the hole plate is. So you can reach your hand all the way in, undo that set screw, and pull that hole plate up. And that plate is in two pieces, so it comes up all the way up through the uh, cone skimmer so you can get it cleaned. The bubble blaster pump there got a pretty small footprint. It fits very nicely on the shelf, to which with the sump in there, it'll fit in there too. And I'll certainly be showing that in upcoming videos. I'll give you my review on the skimmer uh, as we get it up and running in the next few months. But thank you for watching, folks.